Okay guys, the first thing you want to do, whatever you're making a clay kiln, is you want to dig a hole. I've just taken a break from doing it, my dogs are kind of taking over. Dig side, dig. Dogs are taking over right now and can't beat a good dog, in my opinion. He's a worker, both of them are. These guys are gonna help me dig out this clay kiln and the ground's a little bit moist right now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna dry it out by burning some logs. But I'll be right back here in a few minutes and show you what how that's done after I get all my materials gathered. So just keep watching. Okay guys, here's that hole we dug. <clears throat> Finished it up for my dogs. Big help though. It's a couple feet long, about <clears throat> maybe a foot and a half deep, maybe two feet deep. As you can see, it don't need to be super deep, it just needs to be deep enough. About two feet would be just fine. But I'm gonna go ahead and gather some firewood up and I'll be right back. Okay guys, we're back. I got the fire going. This is just another one of those upside down fires, which, which works really well for drying this hole out in. I'm gonna be using the same thing for firing the clay. But I'll show you that whenever I get this all dried out. You just don't want any moisture in, to get inside your pottery. That's why you want to kind of dry out the hole. Or you could do it above ground on some gravel or something too if the ground's wet. Or if it's dry, you can just build like a little little uh, pit around it and about three feet tall or something depending on how much pottery you got. And then you can fire it that way. You can also use clay to as cement. You can make a fire pit with it the fire whenever you're cooking or whatever is going to harden it so it would work really well like that but I'm gonna let this stuff burn down and I'll be back and show you guys the next step hey guys I got my pottery here let me show you it it's all finished drying out this is that little pinch pot we made see the color difference. It's a lot lighter than it was. But it's still smoking a little bit from when I dried it out yesterday. So but that's gonna be just fine. That'll actually help. I'm just gonna put them in here. do the same method we used yesterday with that upside down fire. We're going to stack some wood over this, build that upside down fire, and then we're going to let it burn down and it's going to get covered in coals. And that's what you want. You want it to be covered in coals. Then you just want to leave it. Just let it set for oh, about 15 hours or so. Well, the whole process, the whole firing process will take about 15 hours so just let the coals burn down to, to ashes until they, they're not burning anymore that's pretty much all you really need to do but I'm gonna go ahead and get this upside down fire going and we'll be right back okay guys as you can see the fires going now 
It's been going for about an hour or so. Let's take a look at my pottery down there. Not a lot of ash on it yet, but there will be. Right now it's just kind of getting started, so I'll be back here in a little while to kind of update you guys on what it's, the progress looks like and stuff like that, so just kind of keep watching. Okay guys, this is our fire at about three hours, and as you can tell that those coals have completely covered up the clay. Get a little closer and show you that. You can't see the pottery anymore at all. The coal has completely the coals have completely covered it up. And that's what you want. You want it to burn down the coals and you want the coals to burn to ashes until there's nothing left to burn. This is gonna be the last little bit of firewood that I put on it. I put a little bit more on it from what I had from the upside down fire, but this is going to be all that I put on it right here. I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like after it's all been burnt down. So just kind of keep watching. Okay guys, this is what I'm talking about whenever I say let the coals completely cover the pottery. I mean, I, I know that it's pretty easy to understand whenever I just say it, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys so that you could get a good grasp on what it's supposed to look like. In case anybody was wondering. But the next step you want to take is letting it cool. That's going to take a good two or three days. But you want to take your time and let it cool because if you let it cool too fast, it's going to crack. That's when most of the pottery breaks is in the cooling process. But I'm going to show you the final product after this stuff has been cooled for two or three days. So I'll be right back. Hey guys, we're back. It's been about two days. I had kept it covered because it started to drizzle down a little bit on me. So I covered it up so it didn't get any rain on it. It's pretty important to do that because you don't want any moisture getting into it. If any moisture gets into your clay whenever it's being fired or when, especially in the cooling process, it'll cause it to crack every time. So you really wanna watch that. But we're gonna pull this stuff out and see what it looks like. Here's one success. It's got some little, couple of little cracks, but they don't go all the way through. That should work pretty good. Here's another one, another success. side of it. A few cracks on the bottom but nothing serious. One of my oil lamps. Success. Another one of the oil lamps. Success as well. Third one. So far we've had nothing but success, so that's what you want to hear, you want to hear that. That's a good sound, that means that's good. There ain't nothing wrong with that one at all. That 
one too. Another success. that thin spot we made together. Part of it did break off, but that'll work. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. That's still a success. I also made a skillet. That's good, that'll work. I think that's all of it. Yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised with this one. This one I didn't even use any temper with, so. That one's not quite as good as some of these other ones, but it's gonna work. But yeah, that took me two days of firing it, or two days of letting it dry after I fired it for about 15 hours. Like I said, I just burnt it down, burnt those coals down until the coals completely covered it. That's all you really have to do. Then you just kind of let it cool. But you want to keep in mind that any moisture that gets into any of the pottery is going to cause it to crack. But that's my projects. They all turned out pretty good. I'm pretty surprised that they all turned out so well. It was 100% success rate, so I'm happy with that. But <clears throat> thanks for watching this series, guys. I appreciate it. If you have any comments, please leave them. And if you guys like these videos, subscribe, and I'll have a lot more like it. Thanks a lot.